We send a very powerful message as we, we start Pride Month, a message of tolerance, acceptance, and diversity. That's why June is our Pride Month, and I will present you with a proclamation officially recognize our dedication to celebrating diversity and taking a stand. We pledge it every day and every week and every year. That's why we're gathered here today to say we stand with the LGBTQ plus community and to with everyone to say it's okay to be different. It's okay. Albany County, the Pride Center, the Capital Region will be uh, handing out these reusable bags that you can see, which we have. Which they can, I, I don't, Mary came up with the whole design. I remember. <coughs> oh, the gentleman behind me did? Oh, did you? You sure? Yeah. I know, it's easy. <laughs> so here's the front, which is, you know, recyclable, but on the back, which you'll be able to get at Price Shoppers and grocery stores across, across the uh, Albany County and showing all the colors of the flag, so which will be neat. And uh, I have to tell you, um, the world will be less vibrant without all the colors of the rainbow. And yeah. I like that. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> the opportunity to work with Albany County and get this message out <clears throat> is far more than, um, and not to belittle it, but just a campaign about reusable bags. LGBTQ people exist. And unfortunately right now, that's actually being considered a political statement when it's just a fact of reality. LGBTQ people exist. And what's unfortunate is in many circles and spaces, people have started to believe that we don't. And the reason I know that is because you can't believe someone exists and treat them the way that we're being treated. And these kinds of bags, this kind of message, even though it is something that is, um, again, tethered to this, this reusable bag campaign, it actually will save lives. That rainbow, this rainbow, this rainbow sticker as Sue Rizzo walked down the street holding this bag and getting her groceries in it, a small child might see that whose family is not very accepting of their identity yet. But they will know that there's a person in their grocery store who is. And according to the Trevor Project research, 40% reduction in suicide potential for LGBTQ people when we see ourselves reflected in society. The city of Albany and Albany County continue to do exceptionally well and we, we can always do more, but continue to do exceptionally well in sort of our inclusiveness scores and how, how we treat and respect our LGBTQ plus community. And that must continue. I would also be remiss um, if I didn't say we have to do more. Um, June is a great way to show pride and show our appreciation and show our unity, but we need to every day fight for more on trans rights, which are being attacked everywhere. We also must invest a full year in mental health services because many of the people who come to the Pride Center are children who are feeling rejected or excluded. And as Nathaniel talked about, suicide and you know, feelings of depression are, really, are not only a problem throughout our population, but especially when someone feels excluded. And when they see on national news that you don't have a right to exist. I can, I'm very grateful for County Executive McCoy and his staff for working with me to try to, try to expand those mental health services. And I think we'll see some important announcements this year. Again, thank you for everyone. Thank you for the partnerships, and remember, it, it's okay to be different, and it, that's okay. So uh, just make sure you have your ears on and you're listening to people that might need to talk to you. And sometimes take a step back, take a deep breath, and uh, you know, really look at that person and say, listen to them instead of telling your story. And uh, I wanna say I'm proud to stand here with everyone at the stage and everyone in all the workforce in Albany County, um, you know, in, in the workers here, because it's what makes, make sure everything's happening here. So thank you.